Hello Hokako, how you folks doing? My name is Armando. In this video, we be talking about food. A taste of local and Hawaiian food of Hawaii. That's the topic. So, we will explore a few local and Hawaiian foods that are unique to Hawaii. Okay, this is mainly geared for the visitor, the male, what we call malahini, to Hawaii. Now, local food is the result of multi-ethnic groups living and growing together in Hawaii. And it is a super ono combination of Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Filipino, etc. food. Local food is best represented by the plate lunch. All the cultures coexist on a single plate. Now this is pretty much because of the plantation, uh, the plantation days. You had all these different groups that came to Hawaii to work on the plantation fields, the sugar plantations, and they brought their food. And now uh, the plate lunch is like a combination of them. Well, I'm going to show you one right now. It's called a zip pack from Zippies. And this is like a combination. You got chicken, fish, spam, teriyaki meat, rice, and coleslaw, and, and furikake. So it's like a combination of everything. It's something that's very, very popular. And one of their signature play, uh, lunches that Zippies offers. Okay, now one thing I'd like to point out from the very beginning is the fact that local food and Hawaiian food are not the same. Okay, there's a big difference between the two. So you cannot mix them both up, uh, local food and Hawaiian food. They're two different things, okay? Now the first local food that I'm going to talk about is something called manapua. And, you know, let me just explain that one because uh, my wife is uh, Chinese and she's from Shanghai, China. And when she came here and I, and I asked her, oh, can you buy some manapua? And she gave me like a blank look like, huh? What are you talking about? Well, manapua is the same thing as char siu bao. And so now I say char siu bao, I need some char siu bao. But uh, in Hawaii, we refer to it as manapua. Now the name manapua comes from a shortened version of the Hawaiian phrase mea ona pua'a. And this translates to a dish, delicious pork thing. Okay? In Hawaiian, the word pua'a means pork. And ono in Hawaiian means, well, it's something that tastes good or delicious. So if you want to say this manapu is delicious, you can say this manapu is ono. Okay? Anyway, manapu is something that's uh, very, very popular in Hawaii. Growing up, I grew up with it from small kid time, on about a days. And uh, there's several places that sell manapu. One of them closed down, it was um, called Libby's Manapua, but they, they had the practically the best Manapua in, that you could find, and it, but sadly they closed down after a period of time. And there's still a lot of places that sell Manapua, one of them is like Shanwa Cam Noodle Factory, and there's places um, in downtown, I, that's where I get my Manapua, my go-to is a, is a bakery in uh, downtown in Chinatown and my wife buys it over there some in the bakery in, in Chinatown but anyway there's a lot of places that sell it and every place sell it's a little bit different wherever you go it makes they make it just a little bit different so you have to find out where you know which one is best for you and the thing about it is sometimes I get lazy and I buy um, Costco sells a Bonapua and I just uh, freeze it and you know when ready to eat it take it out 
and put it in the microwave and heat it up. But that's a, it's not as good as fresh. You, you can't beat the fresh manapua that you get from these places that sell it. But if you're too lazy to go out to someplace to buy it, uh, Costco, they, they sell it. You can buy it from them. Now, there was something, there was a person that used to go around, his name, he was, we used to call him the Manapua Man. He had the pole and he had the, and, and, his, uh, and he had the Manapua. And he'd go around neighborhood to neighborhood and he'd say, Manapua, Manapua. And everybody knew the Manapua man was around. And I stood, and that's, who, that's what I grew up with, this guy. Now, it's explaining more about Chasu Bao. Chasu Bao is a Chinese steamed bun filled with roast pork. Okay? So Manapua is the Hawaiian name for this bun, which was introduced uh, to the islands by the Chinese immigrants in the 19th century. Now, Chinese came around 1855. Okay, and that's about the time that they introduced the Manapua. So the word Manapua is derived from the Hawaiian words uh, Ono Pua or Ma no Pua, which mean, both mean pork cake or pork thing. Okay, so that's the uh, story about uh, Manapua. Now the next thing we're going to be talking about is something called uh, local moko. Well, before we get into that, I'm going to show you the manapua I'm talking about. Okay, hold on. Okay, welcome back. This here is the manapua that I was talking about. Now, there's a wrapping on the bottom of it. You have to take that off. Usually, there's a wrapping. I'll take that off. And. Uh, like a little piece of paper on the bottom of it. So you take that off, that's what, it, and that's what the paper looks like, and then I'll show you on the inside of the Manapua. Now this is the, like I said, this is the one I bought from the uh, Costco. Anyway, this is what it looks like on inside, on the inside. So this is Manapua. You can see the uh, Chasu Bao. So, um, and if you buy it from Costco, you can heat it up in the microwave. Just put paper, wet the paper, and put it in the microwave, steam it, and then uh, you're ready to go. It's a quick way to eat uh, chasuba. Okay, so that's the story about the Manapua. Now, the next thing I'm going to talk about is something called Loco Moco interesting story about that one okay so exactly what is locomoco well locomoco is a dish now we're still talking about local foods now we're not talking about hawaiian food local food um is a dish featured in contemporary hawaiian cuisine and there are many variations but the uh Traditional local moko consists of white rice topped with uh, hamburger and a fried egg and brown gravy. Wow, just just mentioning it makes me hungry already. And um, now there's a, a story about that I gotta tell you about. Now, the dish was uh, actually created, and this is the story that goes behind how the name came about. It, created at the Lincoln Grill restaurants in Hilo, Hawaii in 1949 by its proprietors uh, Richard Inouye and his wife Nancy at the request of teenagers from um, the Lincoln Records Sports Club seeking something that differed from a sandwich and was inexpensive and yet could be quickly prepared and served. So they asked uh, Nancy to put some rice in a bowl, a hamburger patty over the rice, and then top it with brown gravy. And the egg came later. So the teenagers named the dish Locomoco after one of their members, George Okimoto, whose nickname was Crazy because of his crazy antics. 
That name sounds familiar, George Okimo. I think that was my wife's uh, relative, actually, uncle. Anyway, George Takahashi, who was studying Spanish at Hilo High School, suggested using loco, which is Spanish for crazy. So they tacked on moco, which rhymed with loco, and that sounded pretty good. So that's how, that's uh, the story behind that, how they got the name loco moco. Okay? Now, loco moco was made famous, however, by the uh, Cafe 100. Um, and that's also in Hilo, and that was started by a person by the name of Richard Miyashiro. Now, Richard Miyashiro was of the famed 100th Infantry Battalion in World War II. And he started Cafe 100 in Waikea Town, Hilo, in 1946. And he named it uh, after the unit he fought with, which is the 100th Infantry Battalion. That's why he called it well, Cafe 100. So, and he was born um, uh, to Issei parents who immigrated uh, from Okinawa to work on the sugar plantations, okay? So, um, he and his wife, his wife's name was Evelyn, started uh, uh, Original Cafe 100. Now, the Cafe 100 specialty is Hilo's famous Lokomoko. And they offer more than 30 varieties. And locals come for the tasty and comforting home-style food and, me and the memories. Visitors come for the authentic old Hilo experience. So at Cafe 100, they believe in generous portions and economical choices. Now, I've been to that uh, Cafe 100 several times, and boy, the food is really, really good. I have a friend, uh, when I used to go visit, I used to, um, I used to fly out there to help. Uh, we had a company that sell copiers and service copier machines, and I used to go out and help the technicians out there. And the service manager would take me to Cafe 100 all the time. Boy, that was really good. I still remember that. We do eat, we order a plate lunch from that place. Now, established in 1946, Cafe 100 had humble beginnings as a diner, and today is a Hilo institution for hearty breakfasts and meals. So you can choose from a fantastic selection of Hawaiian specialties with some great daily specials to tickle your taste buds. And the Lokomoko is the restaurant's claim to fame and they offer no less than a whopping 30 varieties, as I mentioned, to delighted patrons who just can't seem to get enough of it. So that's the story behind the Cafe 100. Now they opened up a second Cafe 100 also. And um, now, so that was talking about local food. So now we're going to talk about a little bit about Hawaiian food. Okay, and the first thing we're gonna, and what we're gonna talk about in this video is something called pipikaula. Okay, pipikaula is a savory Hawaiian dish made of seasoned and semi-dried beef, pan fry, hot to serve. Now, pipikaula is a Hawaiian dish, not a local Hawaii dish. It translates to beef rope, okay? So it's not dried 100%, unlike the fully dry packaged beef jerky found in the supermarkets. Uh, pipicala requires another cooking step, pan fry, deep fry, smoke, after the drying step. So <clears throat> actually the pipicala came from uh, the uh, Paniolos way back in the uh, Hawaiian cowboys when they in, in in the Big Island, you know, they they when they brought the cattle and and uh, the beef and stuff like that, they they um, as they 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 came out, they started the uh, pipicala. Now, <clears throat> there are two styles of pipicala in Hawaii. 
um, one of them is uh, hot and juicy made with bone-in short ribs or flank steak and it's partially dried and then pan fried broiled or even deep fried and it's served hot that's a variety that I like I really like that type of uh, pipicala and um, I remember my dad, when I was a young boy, we used to go to Waimanalo and there was a place called, and I don't know if you folks know this place, it's called Bobby's. Uh, my parents used to like to go there and, you know, have a couple of beers or whatever. And they would have Hawaiian food over there and they'd have pipicala. Oh, man. And I was in heaven over there. I used to eat the pipicala with the, with the, what do you call, Hawaiian salt and the onion. Oh, broke them out. Anyway, the other style of uh, pipical is called plain and or pokey style. It's made with flank steak, and the plain style is partially dried, smoked, or cooked in the oven at a very low temperature and then sliced thin. And that is served at room temperature. Okay? That's uh, that's the other style, and I I'm not really I am not, don't really care for that, but that some people like that uh, poke style. I like the first variety that I mentioned. Now Hawaii and local restaurants sell pipicala by the plate or the pound. You go to like a fish market place or something. They usually like Young's Fish Market or something like that or. You know, Taniok, or, you know, any any place that sells like Hawaiian food, they'll sell pipicala. And even the restaurants, like if you go to um, Haile's or you go to, um, what was it, Hawaii, Hawaii, Highway Inn in Waipahu or Kaka'ako, those, uh, they would also have pipicala with the Hawaiian food. Um, so they can sell it as a plate lunch with rice and other dishes. And that's usually how I like to eat the pipicala. Now it's meant to be eaten with the whole spread of other Hawaiian dishes, like you can eat alongside with rice and poi, share a la la and some lomi lomi salmon. You can also add some butterfish. If you're really hungry, you can add some butterfish, chicken long rice, kalua pig, and don't forget the sides of sweet Maui onion. That really makes it. I used to like it with the onion and Hawaiian sea salt. Oh man, just thinking about them is making me hungry now. And of course for dessert, have some haupia. That's a Hawaiian dessert. Anyway folks, those are uh, some of the uh, foods that we have. Ho local foods I mentioned first and then the Hawaiian food. Like I said, there's a difference between the two. So if you ever come to Hawaii and you're going to eat some Hawaiian food, check out the pipi kaula. Okay, like I said, it's got its roots at, with, with the Paniolos, the Hawaiian cowboy, from way back. Parker Ranch days, but it uh, goes way, way back. Anyway, I hope you folks enjoyed this video. Probably hungry by now. Mahalo for watching, and ahui ho.